welcome back to my channel. Today I have an updated Q&A video for you guys. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be answering some of you guys' questions. If you are interested, then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Turn on your post notifications and let's get right into the video. I was looking on my channel and I realized it's been over a year since I did my last Q&A and I know that I have a few new followers since then. Well, I have a, yeah, I have a lot of new followers since then. So um, I just wanted to do an updated Q&A. Sometimes these can get a little bit repetitive. So at least I, I try to do one at least every year and some things have changed. So I wanted to update you guys. So I took a glimpse at some of these questions just like a little glance when you guys first started asking them but since I haven't looked at them I asked yesterday so it's been a whole 24 hours since the story has been up so you guys had plenty of time to ask me so actually I have to go into my archives because I don't I can't find it here right away I see a bunch of how tall are you's you guys I'm over this question <laughs> I'm 411 please like just that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Are you married? I am not yet married. Yeah, I'm just not married yet, but I am in a relationship. I'm gonna say the Instagram name so you guys can know if you your actual question got answered in case it was asked twice or something. So the person who asks, are you married, is Diamonds Against the Wood. So yeah, thank you for your question. Thank you guys all in advance for your question. I don't wanna keep saying thank you after every question. So yay, go art asked can I draw you and yes um, I think I pretty much don't have a problem with anybody drawing me like at all just send it to me so I can see I love to see those um, in the beginning I actually used to do a thing called like shout out Sundays and every Sunday I would shout out people who have drew pictures of me or did whatever like so maybe I'll bring that back to my Instagram because I did like um, noticing the followers and everybody who's kind of like done cool things like that so yeah you guys are free to draw me just please send it to me so i can see because so many talented people michael underscore csr asked what inspires you it depends really i cannot remember my answer to this like in my previous q a's but for me now in life i feel like it just depends on a lot of things so I think about everything and it depends on what aspect of life we're talking about as far as inspiring me if, you, if we're talking about what inspires me to do my work that's one answer but in general with life and just inspiring like as like when I wake up I, I think um, what inspires me is just, just the thought of like it's a brand new day and it's a it's a day filled with the new opportunities and I can just create today to be whatever I want it to be. So that's my, that's what inspires me in general. Like that's what inspires me when it comes to just life in general. Also people, the people in my life, the people around me, my past self inspires my now self and who I want to be in the future also inspires who I am today because yeah, I, if I want to be this person in the future, then it, it just, inspires what I do today and everything. So I hope that answers the question. Shad.culinary.artist asked, where do you see your career taking you in the future? I've never actually thought of, well not, I have thought about that, but I have so many things that I wanna do as far as like goals and stuff that have nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. But as far as what this particular thing, I would love to own multiple brands like whether that be I've never really wanted to do my own clothing brand but as at some point I do want to have a clothing brand I think I don't know but I do definitely want to have my own brand as far as like other things like accessories and um, stuff like that I want to model more like on like mainstream I want to model mainstream I want to do commercials and stuff like that um, so that's where I can kind of see it and that's crazy because I've never even said this stuff out loud But yeah, that's that's kind of where I would like my now career like this Instagram or just Social media career to take me and I just want to continue to inspire people and hopefully just continue to create a space of motivation inspiration and safety on this here internet that can get crazy So yeah, fish tendo asked are you a big fan of pokemon 
I am a big fan of Pokemon. That's such a random question, which is why I'm like laughing because for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel, you guys know that I've been playing Pokemon Go since it came out. I still play it today. Um, literally, it's like right on my phone. I play kind of almost every day. Yeah, I love Pokemon. Delusional underscore Vigilante asked, what's your opinion on Capricorns? I don't have an opinion on Capricorns, actually. I don't try to have too much of an opinion on like people, like signs and stuff. I just know that Virgos are dope. That's all I know. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I try not to have an opinion, but I do kind of have my opinions on some. And I just listen to like the, um, the stereotypical things of people. But if I can have, if I can make some sort of opinion on Capricorns now, as far as the Capricorns in my life, that's the only thing I could base it on. Like, and they're all so different, so that's why it's so hard to like have like a one opinion on just Capricorns. But I feel like Capricorns are pretty cool. I do, I get along with Capricorns in my life. So my my little cousin Jaylene, who's been on my channel before, she's a Capricorn, and we get along great. Yeah, Capricorns are cool. I get along with Capricorns. I actually don't think I have an issue with any Capricorn. I can't remember, but I don't think so. Lyndon, I don't know, but the ending of the at name is 2KGT7, asked, what city are you in? I'm in Brooklyn, New York, New York City. Beekman8530 asked, pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? I say that's a yay. I like pineapple on pizza. I love Hawaiian pizza, pineapple and ham on pizza. Um, yeah, I don't see the big problem with pineapple on pizza. I like it, sure. Why not? Um, as far as it being like an always thing, no, I don't I don't always get pineapple on pizza. Like it I don't have to have pineapple on pizza. But as far as like do I like pineapple on pizza when I get Hawaii pizza, yeah. Sure. Not a problem. The K R U dude asked is there any goals or dreams that you've set and accomplished them without realizing it yeah i think this overall social media thing sometimes what happens is you compare yourself to the people that are doing the same thing as you so for me i compare myself to other influencers other models and stuff like that and it kind of takes away from what you're doing and you don't realize that you've actually reached a lot of your goals at all. So that happens to me often on social media because I get so brainwashed with looking at other people's content and looking how other people are doing things and stuff like that. This whole like imposter syndrome that happens on social media that I kind of forget like, wow, I actually wanted to do this and I did it. Or just the fact of like, ever since I was young, I've always wanted to just be inspiring and, and stuff to other people and I feel like this has offered me that and I didn't even realize that until more so recently rather than when I first started. So yeah, definitely that happens to me often. Oh, hope for, prepare for, hope for, prepare for asked, what's something on your bucket list you want to do 2022? I haven't thought about 2022 too much, so I don't have anything, but let's see if I can think of something on the spot. Dang, I don't know. I, I really don't know as far as like bucket list for 2022. For me, it's always the same thing. It's just getting better mentally as a person, like growing into myself and into who I am. Just getting better. That's all. I would also like to shed some more weight from the quarantine weight but it's not really like a bucket list item. Like when I think bucket list, I think like hard hitting things to do, but I don't have one. Oh, something that I thought about for 2022 is, and I did it before, I've read even more than one book in a month, but um, something that I thought of to put myself to the challenge is to read complete one book a month or one book a week. I haven't decided on which one I want to do yet, but one of those two will be like my bucket, one of my bucket list items. I've done it before, as I said, and yeah, I just really think that it's so fruitful to do so. That would be one of my bucket list items. If I think of any other fun things, I'll let you guys know, but I should think of fun things because it's great to have something to look forward to, but yeah. I see random, oh my God, I see a bunch of what are my measurements what's my height and weight like i just don't think that this is just stop it <laughs> like stop asking me that question stop asking women 
So I'm asking people those questions because I've been seeing it a lot across all social media. People are just asking people's measurements. Like I've seen it a lot on TikTok recently actually. Like stop it. Like really stop it. Why? What is it to you? Just stop. Just stop. Um, troublesome underscore zero three. What's your dream car or your just fave type of car? Thank you and good day to you. Good day to you too. My dream car is a Mercedes. A Mercedes. Mercedes. Mercedes Benz G Wagon. I think it's the 53. I always confuse the numbers. I don't know, but it's the medium one. That's the one I want. My dream car before the G Wagon has always been a Hummer. I know, so random and I'm so small, but I like big cars. It was always a Hummer or an Escalade. Like those are the cars that I've always been into. And yeah, so now it's upgraded to a G Wagon. And yeah. Ralph 1227 asked, what's the greatest, what was the greatest thing you have ever accomplished? I think the greatest thing I've ever accomplished was learning how to enjoy my own company and just taking initiative on working on myself because I feel like a lot of people just don't do that. And I think that's when life gets tricky is when you just don't know yourself. You're just floating around interacting with others and not even knowing who you are and things just get complicated so i think that's the greatest thing i've ever accomplished is just taking an initiative to actually work on myself and take an initiative on trying to be better and develop myself for those of you with the sweet compliments thank you so much just thank you guys hhh underscore mmm underscore i just see so my nose got stuffy but <laughs> this person asks how old are you i am 28 i just turned 28 august of this year Hey guys, so I just quickly wanted to interrupt this video to mention a product that I received from a company that I think is super revolutionary, especially for women, because it is for women in particular, and it is a VCF female contraceptive gel. Now, for me, when the company reached out to me to work with me, I was actually intrigued because I actually never heard of this, and I wonder how many people have heard of this, male or female. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever even heard of this because maybe I'm just out of the loop, but I think this is a super dope invention. So for those of you that may be confused as I was when I first heard of this, VCF is a female contraceptive gel. So there are plenty of great things about this VCF vaginal contraceptive gel. So a few of those things are that it's non-toxic, hormone-free, easy to use, and safe. And even with all of that, it is still a highly effective female contraceptive. So with the VCF gel, what's cool about it is that the woman is always in control of their sexual life. So this is the box that I received with the VCF female contraceptive gel. It says it has pre-filled applicators. And right here it says, feel confident being intimate. Another great thing about this VCF vaginal contraceptive gel is that you do not need a prescription to get this. This is the box that I received. So it's important to know that this does not protect you from sexually transmitted diseases. It can aid in protecting you from unwanted pregnancies. So this is basically how the applicators come. I've already opened mine, but this is how the applicators come in this package. There are actually 10 individually sealed applicators in here. It contains the number one gynecologist recommended spermicide so that's what's gonna help in preventing unwanted pregnancies I'm actually gonna open one so you guys can see the applicator so an important thing to know about these applicators and about this contraceptive gel is that it is only um, effective for one hour and you do have to reapply between every sexual act so after one hour it's not gonna help you anymore so keep that in mind and also you do have to apply for every sexual act so it comes like this. I'm not gonna actually like do the gel part because I don't wanna waste it, but you have to take this blue cap off and then you're going to just put this right through here. So it's gonna kind of look like, I think this is similar to like a tampon insertion where you have to like, you can't let this go in there, but once you once this touches this part, then basically all the gel is in there and then you can toss the applicator. So take this blue part off, insert, and the gel is in there. Again, after the gel is inserted, you are, you're good to go for an hour. It's um, easy to use, highly effective, safe, hormone-free, non-toxic. It's like honestly the most innovative thing that has been done for women because I know for me in general, I do not, I get a little weary about 
birth control because of all the hormones and everything. So I really can't believe I did not know about this and I think this is a safe and great way for women to feel control and in control and comfortable, especially when being intimate and stuff, which I feel like is such a vulnerable thing, but that's another story. But anyways, all of the information for this VCF contraceptive gel will be in the description box below. If you guys try it, let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty dope. I think it's awesome. I'm all for women being in control and feeling comfortable in any areas of their lives so i love this product again if you're interested check the description box below and now let's get right into the video and why holiday asked oh oh i know you you're always on all of my social media so shout out to you girl um thank you so much for your support but she asks what is something you used to do as a child that you don't do anymore as an adult oh that's crazy i don't know a lot of things I don't know. I honestly feel like I still do a lot of things that I used to do as a child. I feel that as a child, this might be a little bit too deep for this question because I feel like this question is really kind of like, it seems a little bit lighthearted, but really for me, I have to think about it in a deep way just because I, that's just who I am. But as a child, I think that I was a lot more imaginative and um, creative in a way where I just didn't care. Like I just had to, like if I wanted to do something, that's just what I was gonna do. And I'm still this way, but it's kind of like simmered down a little bit. Like I'm not as imaginative. Like I thought, you know, everything, like the world is in my hands. Like I can just do anything. And it still is that way, just not as much, you know, like, I used to just dress crazy one day or I don't know. I just feel like I was a lot more free in my headspace when I was a child rather than now. I'm a lot more like um, restrained and like just scared. <laughs> I'm just scared of life <laughs> these days. So yeah, that's one thing. Something I used to do that I don't do as often. I used to drink chocolate milk every night before bed and honestly that just stopped <laughs> like um let's see i'm 28 Ugh. i probably stopped when i was around 24 25 because my esthetician at the time said that it could be the dairy that's giving me um acne on my cheeks and stuff and i think it's true um so i simmered down i haven't totally stopped though but that's something that I just can think off the top of my head as far as like a physical thing that I used to do as a child that I'm doing some more as an adult. Other than that, I'm pretty much still the same old person, the same old child. I still watch, I just watched the Cheetah Girls and Disney the other day. Just my comfort zone. It's my like little escape, so yeah. Aidbola underscore P asked, what's my Twitter? My Twitter is kissed by Ken. You should go follow me on Twitter, you guys. Twitter is... We have a closely knit fam over there, so. Seize Julius asks, how did you become a Warriors fan and what year slash era? I recently, well not recently, but I became a Warriors fan, I think, I don't know. I think when, it had to be when they won their first reign, like that season, um, I became a Warriors fan. Um, yeah, cause that's when I got into basketball. I was seeing a, a bunch of Stephen Curry everywhere all over my social media and I didn't watch basketball since I used to be a Lakers fan actually when I was little. I used to be a Lakers Kobe fan. So I stopped watching like in middle school at some time I stopped watching basketball. I used to watch on and off. Through high school I used to watch on and off. And then then I just became a Warriors fan. When I started seeing all this Stephen Curry stuff, like, who is Stephen Curry? Why, why am I hearing so much about him? And then uh, my family and I just started watching their games, and then I just became a fan. Um, it was finally something exciting happening in basketball. I feel like it, basketball got boring for so many years. The off time that I had, I used to just call myself a Knicks fan just because I live in New York. I was like, sure, I'm rooting for the Knicks, whatever. I didn't really care. But yeah, that's when I became a Warriors fan. And how, I just, I just, I think I just said it. Really what intrigued me, like it's so weird, but it was um, a Facebook post that I saw about Curry. And it was um, him and his wife have their initials tattooed on their ring fingers because he's not allowed to wear, well, just jewelry on the 
because he's not allowed to wear jewelry on his while he's on the floor and stuff and i thought that was so cute and i was like oh my god i like stephen curry that's so sweet yeah i'm a hopeless romantic so that's what actually really drew me in and then i saw that the words are just so freaking exciting to watch and then sold since then avant w abrahams asked are you latin um yeah i am my ethnicity is dominican my parents are dominican so yes i'm dominican same person asked if i have children and if i'm married no and no not yet m dot r underscore tima asked what are your wishes for the new year really just i pray for the world to get better i pray for us to just move forward and just be better and get over this covid thing i'm just hoping that it just diminishes just disappears and for all of my loved ones and just everybody to be safe and happy and peace peaceful because it's been a rough two years so i'm just praying for peace at this point like please that's pretty much it le underscore scorpio 85 asks what encourages you to do makeup and clothing lines and you look so beautiful thank you so much um so to do makeup and like fashion stuff i've always liked doing these things i've always liked changing up my hair and when i was younger i wasn't into makeup much but i liked buying like random clothing items that looked dope like i liked putting certain outfits together and just looking different like putting my hair in a different kind of way I used to I, as soon as I was allowed to bleach my hair I changed my hair almost all the time I love always just kind of like looking different and playing with my looks and stuff like that so that's what inspires me to just keep going now because makeup is it adds so much more to that and makes it so much more fun that you can have just a whole different look and with wigs and fashion and it's just like a whole like I just love the idea of having just different looks I've loved it since I was a kid like and it's so funny because I've never like in my head I was just like oh I just want to do modeling and stuff but really it's like this whole thing of putting everything together that gets me excited and then executing it that just I don't know it just excites me so that's what encourages me to just keep going um, the same person asks, also would you create your own clothing line if you don't have one yet? As I said early in this video, I do, I think I want to create my own clothing line, but I don't want to do like kind of like what's happening right now is like fast fashion. It's like, I, I, I'm not sure where I want to go with it. So I would like to have my own clothing line, but it's kind of tricky. Stick with underscore the underscore drip. You asked, what's my aspirations in 2022? I answered this question earlier. I just wanted to mention your name because I was going to answer, answer your question, but I've already answered it. ATC underscore 13 underscore gang <laughs> um, asks, what's your favorite dessert? I love anything chocolate, so that, but I also love carrot cake. That's, I feel like it's so random, but I love carrot cake if it was a dessert. I love flan too. Same person asked a few questions, so I like this one, so I'm going to choose this one to answer. If you had a chance to change one thing about you or around you, what would it be and why? Um, one thing that I would change about me is <laughs> the fact that I overthink a lot and I'm very indecisive. And so that's what I would change is that I would just, just be very clear-minded and be able to make decisions without having to think so much. That's what I would change, like, oh my gosh, in a heartbeat. If I could just press a button and change that about myself, in a heartbeat, because I think entirely too much and it just aids my indecisiveness and just makes things so much harder than it probably has to be. I've always envied those people that were so careless and just liberated and they just feel, they just seem so free. Okay, Cello2877 asks, why, you, why don't you go live on IG more often? I think I went, um, live on ig like twice ever and i just don't know what i would do on live like I, I just don't know what i would do that i'm not doing here like i'm answering questions and stuff here i was thinking about starting to go live on my tiktok because i feel like tiktok has made me fall in love with makeup all over again tiktok has made me fall in love with makeup all over again i think that i would go live start going live on tiktok and just doing my makeup on tiktok i've never ever ever done my makeup on live um, so yeah, that's what it is. But live also intimidates me because I am such an awkward person 
and I just feel like if something happens like I overthink situations a lot so because I have a little bit of social anxiety I just feel like that's a, a way of like is I'm like in a social situation even if it's just me and my phone and it's just like i'm on live it's just like there's a lot of people just looking at me and i think i'll just be super intimidated and awkward so i don't know i think that's what kind of um, stops me and also i just never know what to do on live like even if i wanted to i'm just like what am i gonna do just go on there and just answer questions like for what you know i don't want to be like it's just kind of boring to me if i were to do that but ooh. Elicity, which is my little cousin, is actually she actually asked me some questions. She also has a YouTube channel, you guys, so I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen here so you guys can go follow her and check her out. So she asks, what are some goals you still want to achieve? There's a lot of goals that I still want to achieve. I want to, my main goal is to build enough financial freedom that I'm able to get my mom a huge house or just a nice place where she has a huge kitchen because that's just what she's always wanted and she deserves everything good that the world has to offer so that's one of my main goals and just to help my entire family just free themselves of this of just just financial freedom for my entire family that's like my main 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 goal and my family that I have now and then my future family like my kids and stuff like I want to do that for them as well obviously another thing is I want to work with kids when I at some point in the future I don't necessarily want to say what I want to do on so on the internet I have probably mentioned it before but I don't want to say what I want to do on the internet but yeah I want to work with kids in the future I want to have multiple businesses again I want say specifically which ones but I want to do that and that's pretty much it just travel a bunch even though I don't like the plane flights and stuff but I want to do that for sure and just enjoy life like really enjoy life that's pretty much it so I think I'm gonna answer this last question and then this will be it because this Q&A is actually pretty long but I actually enjoyed this Q&A it's probably has been one of my favorite Q&A's ever but anyway straight stoned poet Oh, I like it. I like that name. Straight Stoned Poet. I actually really like that name. So, what inspires you the most to ignore everything around you negativity-wise? When it comes to social media, as far as negativity, it's very easy for me to ignore it. Especially now because I've been on social media for years and now it's just kind of like whatever. But I also just understand, I feel like once you understand the concept of that people are just hurting. And I remember like I have my days where I'm still hurting like I'm not healed completely at all like I have a bunch of things that I have to work through so the more I got to go inward like within myself it made me understand people in general so even online whether that's on social media or just like in my life like my family friends acquaintances whatever I just understand people a lot better so it's a, it's easier for me to disregard the negative things when I'm able to understand that people are just going walking around hurting like life is tough there's a lot of things that happen that we don't have any control over and it's really painful and so when I think about that um, it allows me to ignore the negativity if someone's being negative or if there's a negative situation and stuff like that as far as just things that are outside of my control that has nothing to do with like people being negative and stuff for example COVID or just worldly issues things that inspires me to ignore that is I just start to count the blessings like as I've said plenty of times before one of my favorite quotes and things to go by is you have to take the good with the bad because in life there's going to be both there's going to be good times there's going to be bad times and sometimes it'll happen simultaneously the only reason the only way we can appreciate the good times is if we have the bad times because if we didn't have the bad times we wouldn't know what good times are so i try to think about that i try to think of like nothing lasts forever so even this negative thing right now is not going to last forever and there's going to be a day sometimes it doesn't seem like it's coming but there's gonna be a day that this this particular thing is just not happening anymore. So that's what inspires me. The good times inspire me to get through the, the bad times and the positive things inspire me to get through the negative things. Yeah. 
So with that being said, there was a lot more questions that I didn't get to answer that I didn't answer. But I want to thank each and every one of you, even if I didn't answer your question for participating and asking me your question. Um, hopefully I can get to it next time. If you guys would like me to do a part two and just go like have a whole nother post and answer questions that I just didn't answer in this Q&A, then I'll do that for you guys so it can be just another video with that being said again thank you guys for ans asking me your questions thank you guys for your support thank you guys for following me thank you guys for just enjoying my content i'm trying my very best on social media as i always do so thank you guys and yeah i hope you guys have happy i hope you guys are having happy holidays if the holidays are triggering to you i just want to take the time to say this because the holidays for me have been triggering a lot <laughs> ever since i was little i've kind of when i was little it was a lot more exciting but now it's a lot more triggering in my adult life because of just things that's happened and stuff so if their holidays are triggering to you i hope you're doing things that you like to do i hope you're taking care of yourself have some hot cocoa put some fuzzy socks on and watch some movies or just know that you can spend good quality time with yourself and you have to do it for yourself you have to spoil yourself if if anything, you have to just spoil yourself and make yourself feel good. So I hope my heart is with all of you guys that are having a tough time because the holidays can be tough and we tend to forget that because it's like, yay, it's holiday season. It's just like, it's not yay for everybody. But I just wanted to say that really quick. I hope you guys are all staying safe and at peace and yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Turn on your post notifications. Especially if you never see my videos, turn on your post notifications, which is the bell right by the subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!